Hey everyone, I'm Kevin with JCR Off-Road. Now in today's video, we're gonna be assembling and installing our adventure bed rack that you see here on the Shop Gladiator. Now in the video, you're gonna notice that we install this on the Shop Tundra with our sister company, Victory 4x4. That's because this is a shared product between both companies. Reason being, this is a somewhat universal rack. We designed it to fit multiple vehicle platforms and applications. However, with that being said, the mounting styles are gonna be the same regardless of what truck it's going on. So follow along as we get it installed and get it on your Gladiator. So this rack we are gonna be installing here on the Shop Tundra. However, we did design this to fit most mid and full size truck platforms with the only real variations being in the mounts down here on the bed rails and the overall width up top. So we'll cover that in the video on the different mounting styles as well as the width adjustment available in the rack. So just check out our website for more detail on the dimensions to confirm that this fits with your application. So here we've kind of laid out all the parts that you're gonna receive and everything you should need to get this installed. Now we tried to make this rack very simple to both assemble as well as install on the vehicle. So for example, your uprights are gonna be the same for all four corners. So it doesn't matter where you place these, you can go ahead and kind of get them laid out. Then the cross section that's gonna mount between the two uprights and tie both of those together are also gonna be identical both front and rear. So it doesn't matter which one you grab there. Then you're gonna have these four front to rear accessory rails. We're gonna have the narrower ones that you can see here with just the single slots throughout the center. Those we're gonna recommend as the tops, followed by the wider accessory rails that are gonna have a double row of slots as well as some vertical slots here to mount all your accessories and gear. Now this entire rack is gonna assemble just using the provided 3 8 hardware. So you'll just need a 9 16 wrench and maybe a socket to get this entire thing built. So we're gonna get started by assembling these front and rear cross member sections. So for that, I'm just gonna grab one upright and then that center crossbar. The upright will slide easily down inside of the crossbar. And then using the 3 8 carriage bolts, you can drop one in this top slot and loosely install a nut here on the bottom. And then using the square holes on both the front and back of this crossbar, you can install four more of those with the nut here on the inside. Now with all five of those bolts in place, you wanna leave this just a little bit loose right now so that we can then adjust this width once we have this up on the vehicle. So the assembly process for the other four corners are gonna be the same. So you can go ahead and finish getting those assembled. So once you have both uprights on, it should look something like I have here. And then we can take this and get it loosely installed on the truck. So if you're following along exactly as we're building this, you're gonna be installing that full front and rear cross member assembly up here. I just have one loose leg to kind of show you how these mounts go for now. So if you are equipped with a trail rail style accessory rail like we have here in this Tundra, you can simply press in the little tab and pop these caps out of the back end. And then you'll wanna find the stainless bolt tab style brackets we have here that we provide. In these, you're gonna to need to install the 5 16 carriage bolts and then simply slide them down into the trail rail. You'll need one of these for the front, one of these for the rear. And then you can take that upright and cross member assembly and line those carriage bolts up with the vertical slot here in the mounting upright and install the 5 16 flange locking nuts to hold that in place. So then if your truck is not equipped with the accessory rails, you'll need to find the powder coated black clamp brackets. Again, the 5 16 carriage bolts that we used previously in the trail rail style. Those will just pass through like I have here, and then they'll mount to the outside of the mounting surface on the upright, just like so, and then again, install the flange nuts here on the inside. So once you've determined your mounting style, you can grab this whole cross member assembly. You'll place it up here on the bedside, and then you can just 
extend it out to reach the full width of the bed. Now, just be careful as you're pushing one side out that you're not pulling it off the other side so that it falls down in the bed. And then just one thing I wanna point out here, if you are running our bedside molly panels already, it may be beneficial to just loosen a couple of the mounting fasteners on that to give you just a little bit of compliance as you get this installed. Once you've done all that, it's just a matter of getting this pushed out tight against the side of that bed rail and getting your bracket slid up into place. Then with your half inch socket, you can just kind of lightly snug these up for now, just enough to hold that in place because you may need to make some minor front to rear adjustment once you're installing those side accessory rails. Now you're ready to install both the side as well as top accessory rails. So go ahead and grab the side rail. You can hold it up between here. If it's not fitting, you may have to make some front to rear adjustment of those cross member sections. And then again, 3 8 carriage bolt here through the side. You're gonna put two in the front, two in the rear. I'm just gonna get one started on each side right now just to kind of hold this in place. And then as you can see, you've obviously got plenty of slotted mounting locations for this, so it can be as high or low as needed for your specific gear. So then lastly, you can jump up top and install these upper crossbars very much in the same fashion that the side rails go on. These, however, will mount with just a single hole at each end. Now again, up here, we've got plenty of slotted mounting locations so that these can mount at many various widths to accommodate whatever your tent or gear might be. Uh, the one thing I want to point out here is just that if you're going to be running these kind of in the furthest outermost set of slots, you'll simply use the same bolt there through the upright cross member assembly and the front to rear crossbar. So all that's left to do at this point is tighten everything up. So if I haven't mentioned it already, this is pretty much the only time during this install that you'll need a different tool. So it'll be a half inch socket here to tighten up all the mounting clamps and brackets for the uprights. Then you'll move to tightening the crossbars here in both the front and rear cross members. Only thing to note here is that you just want to pay attention to the exposed slot on either side and just make sure this is centered before you tighten it up. And then again for this, you're just switching back to that 9 16 Then lastly, you can tighten up the side rails as well as the top accessory rails. Now hopefully that gave you all the information needed to get your rack installed. If not, or if you have any questions about this product or any other JCR product, you can always reach out to us. You can email us at info at jcroffroad.com or just give us a call at 269-353-1184.